Hi, I'm John Underhill. Welcome to Underhill Creations. Now in this video, we're going to show you how to set up your molds for resin casting. Your kit you've received comes with a 12-inch clear plastic tube. Now these tubes are, are one-time use only. They come 12 inches, which means you have two options. Uh, you can cut it in half and get two full-length color cast blanks if you'd like, or you can cut it in thirds and you can cast three Sierra, uh, cigar, you know, wh whichever. Now there's a couple ways to go about this. Um, if you know you're going to cast Sierras, what I suggest, cut it in thirds. Your Sierra tubes, you only need them at four inches, so if you cut them in thirds, it's going to give you exactly three tubes, four inches long, so that you can cast your Sierras. Uh, if you're going to be doing, say, Vertex Supreme, where the upper cap is a little shorter and the the lower tube is a little longer, then what you're probably going to want to do is set your uh, tubes in your molds, press your tubes down on them, and then cut just above your silicone rubber plug. You're going to want to leave about a half inch, and that will ensure that you have enough room for your resin. Let's get started. Okay, so for our color cast, obviously very simple. We're going to take our tube, we're going to take the base plug, and we're going to just press it in. And that is it. And we're going to set that in our rack, and we're ready to go for pouring resin. Now for a clear cast tube on, it's a little different. So what you're going to have is you're going to have your, your tube, your brass pen tube. It's going to be already prepped, whether it be snake skin, stamps, um, you know, a label cast, whatever you're going to do with it, you're going to have that done. The next you're going to do is you're going to take the silicone plugs that come with the, the starter kit, and these are perfect for Sierras, cigars, uh, lower junior tubes, Zen, uh, things of that nature, and you're going to make sure that you seat the, the plugs in the, each end of the tube. What this is going to do, it's going to allow you to control the position of this tube without letting resin get inside of it. Now you don't want to over tighten them because you don't want to cut into the silicone, you just want to seat them to where it's a nice tight fit. Next what you're going to do is you're going to take your Delrin base and the nail is positioned in the center. If through use this gets out of center, what you can do is take a pair of pliers and just slightly adjust it to where it's, it's up and down again. It doesn't have to be perfect because when you turn your blanks, you will turn them perfectly round. So what you want to do is you're going to take the bottom tube, the bottom of the tube, you're going to place the center of that uh, tapered plug on your nail and you're just going to push it down flat. So what that's going to give you is your brass tube suspended fairly straight up and down on that Delrin base. Now as you look down that, you may notice that you're a little off center, so you can turn this base to get it to where you think it looks right. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Next, what you're going to do is, you're going to take your pre-cut tube, or if you're not sure the length that you need, you're going to take the tube that comes with it, and you're going to seat it down on top. Now before you do that, here's just a little tip from me to you. Uh, because these tubes are going to expand as they fit over the rounded edge of this, this uh, base, sometimes this wants to roll in. So what I suggest, take your thumbnail, place it against the inside of the tube, and just rotate the tube a little. What that does, it kind of makes the base of this plastic curve out just a little bit so that it doesn't tuck in on you when you're trying to seat it. Now the easiest thing here to do is basically position your tube on the table, place this over it, just with your palm, push down. Now you don't have to push the tube all the way to the bottom of the base. Halfway is fine. All you really want to ensure is that you've got a nice tight seal and that way no resin is going to leak out the bottom of this base. Now over time with use, you may get some resin built up on this base and you can clean that off with Delrin, you can pick it off with your fingers, but you want to make sure that this is fairly smooth when you press the next one down that way it ensures you a nice tight seal. Uh, if it's tacky or sticky, you might want to wait a day before you use it. And these tubes don't want to slide down very well when these are tacky. Uh, and usually that tackiness, especially if you're using Silmar uh, resin, that tackiness will go away after one day. So what I do after I have that seated, I take a pair of scissors. Now I only want to leave between a, maybe a half inch, three quarters of an inch, of tube above the top of that plug. So what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll trim this up just a little bit with scissors. That way now I know I have a, a fairly flat surface. And I'll take that spring and I will start it around the edge like that. 
Now I'm going to take the tip of that spring and put it in the center or as close to center as I can with that plug. So as you look down there, you're able to move this a little bit, tweak it to where you get it as center as, you know, as, as close as possible. Uh, and what that's going to do is that's going to hold your brass tube so that way you can pour resin all the way around it and it allows the resin to enter the tubes quickly. Let's face it, sometimes you're under the, under the clock, right? So as you're pouring resin in, you want to make sure that you can get your resin in and get this chambered as quickly as possible. Having a large opening with this wire allows you to do that. It allows you to get the resin in. It also allows air to quickly escape out. That way it doesn't lead to problems in your, uh, in your finished product. So after this is done, we place it in the rack and we're ready to go. Well, there you have it. That's all there is to it. Very simple to get set up. These are ready to go for resin. Be sure to check out the rest of my videos. We'll be sharing more on uh, tips and tricks and uh, how you can get the best out of your casting supplies. Thanks, I'm John Underhill.